Hi there, this is David here from CADSessions.com. Welcome to what I think will be a very cool tutorial. In this lesson, we'll be learning about the Loft tool in Onshape, and I'm really excited to try out a new format for this. In this video, I introduce the Loft feature, show examples of what can be done with it, and the remainder of the content is delivered in an awesome free to access mini course format. We'll walk through four different examples demonstrating the Loft tool and some of its capabilities. And by the end, I'm confident you'll have a good understanding of how to use the tool. So let's dive in. The Loft command really opens you up to a whole new world of shapes that you can create, where in this case, it's safe to be cliche and say, your imagination is the limit. In its simplest form, with Loft, you can create a smooth, solid transition between two or more profiles. Here, a smooth transition is created between a circle and a triangle. Loft is a very powerful tool, and I'll cover some of the ways it can be used. So, a few more examples to whet your appetite. First, a USB connector with a smooth transition between the cable and the handle is created with a Loft feature. Second, a custom designed fan duct that collects and focuses air from a cooling fan to a specific spot. This model is actually inspired by the hot end on my Lulzbot Mini 3D printer. And actually, this part has two loft features, one on the outside and one on the inside as a lofted cut. Lofts can also be used when modeling airfoils, as in this simple example. You can also use guide curves to guide the surface between the profiles. In this example of an ergonomic grip, two circular profiles are connected using a set of guide curves to create the lofted shape we need. To create a loft feature, the general workflow is first, insert any planes you might need and sketch all of your profiles. Second, which is optional, Sketch your guide curves. More about this in a minute. Third, create your loft using profiles and optional guide curves. Nested profiles are not allowed, meaning I can't create a loft from a profile that has another closed contour inside of it. The loft won't generate. Just keep this in mind when creating your profile sketches for your lofts. Notice that I say step two is optional. Using guide curves is optional, and they are quite versatile. On this next slide here, we can see how different combinations of guide curves affect the outcome of the loft. If we have no guide curves, just two profiles, the loft will simply connect the two profiles. If we add one guide curve, the whole loft will try to follow along that curve while still connecting the two profiles. And another example of one guide curve will look like this. And if we use both of the guide curves, well, we can do that too. And you can see how it affects the loft as the generated loft follows both. 